Hi, and welcome to this short and snappy about Daisy Girl Scout Petals, Leaves, and Veggies. My name is Joey White, and I'm with the membership team here at the Girl Scouts in the heart of Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for joining us today. This short and snappy is going to be about seven minutes long, and we'll introduce you to the Daisy Girl Scout Petals, Leaves, and Veggies. We'll talk about the girl-led aspect and the girl and adult partnership, and how to help the girls earn their daisy petals, leaves, and badges. So before we get into the petals, leaves, and badges, let's talk about girl-led at the daisy level. There's another short and snappy about how to make a girl-led at the daisy level, but a quick overview is that you can ask the girls what they like to do, what they want to learn, and what seems fun to them. Write down all of their choices and let the girls vote on them. And then evaluate things. Don't forget to have the girls evaluate if they like the activity or not. All of these things together lets the program belong to them instead of the troop leader just telling them what to do from the start. So let's talk about the petals, leaves, and flower friends. The promise center, which is the blue circle in the middle of the petals, is all about the Girl Scout promise and living by the Girl Scout law. The 10 petals you see around that blue center are parts of the Girl Scout law. The light blue one is honest and fair, yellow is friendly and helpful, and so on. The flower friends represent each petal and tells a story that will guide the girls through fun adventures. The leaves also help lear girls learn about financial literacy and cookie business. So Daisy Girl Scouts can also earn badges just like their older Girl Scout sisters. There are a lot of new badges available for daisies to explore and build lots of new skills in. There are journeys also centered around the outdoors, thinking like a citizen scientist, an engineer, and a programmer. And there are new badges this year for the daisy level, all centered around coding. You can find all of these in the Badge Explorer and the Volunteer Toolkit. So how do you earn the petals, leaves, and badges? For the Promise Center, the blue part in the middle of the petals, the girls have to be able to say the Girl Scout promise. The petals can be earned in order, or you can do them however you like. The girls should do three activities for each petal, so they learn the skills that are associated with those petals. For the leaves, of which there are four, two financial and two for cookie business. The girls can do two leaves a year, and they also do three activities to earn those leaves. And as far as badges go, the girls can decide which badges they want to do. They can be centered around STEM, space, and a whole bunch of other things. And the same holds true. They need to do three activities associated with those badges. All of the requirements can be found in your volunteer toolkit. So something you should know when going into doing all your activities is that you don't have to do them as they're written. You don't have to do them in a cafeteria or a library where your meetings are held. You can pick out different activities and do them with community partners. You can invite guest speakers. You can even attend a council sponsored or service unit sponsored program or an event that's associated with all of the awards you want to earn. Change the activity requirement. Meeting the goal of the activity is important, but again, you don't have to do it exactly how it's written in the toolkit or in the Daisy Girl Guide to Girl Scouting. So to help you understand what we mean by that, the purple petal is about respecting myself and others, and it's based on Gloria's story, A Surprise for Lily. The way it's written in the book, you can see on the left, but a suggestion for how you can change that is on the right. This activity is about 20 minutes long, and you can explain all the Girl Scout traditions. The quiet sign is when you hold your hand up, and all the girls should hold their hand up too, and everyone stops talking. The Girl Scout handshake is when you put your three fingers up on your right hand and then extend your left hand for the shake. This still allows you to do the Girl Scout promise sign. Practice using the quiet sign and the Girl Scout handshake. These traditions fall nicely into the purple petal, but that's not how it's written in the book. The same holds true for badges. Talking about the Buddy Camper badge, you can see on the left that you should do help planning a camping trip, help pack for your trip, or go camping. But if you look on the right, what you can do is supplement one of those with teaching the girls how to do a simple meal or a dish for their camping trip. They can do kebabs where they don't have to cook anything, just put cheese, strawberries, grapes, and apples on a skewer, 
Or they could do walking tacos, where they have a bag with all the taco supplies, and then they're allowed to go on a hike while they're eating. Makes it more fun for the girls. You'll see the activity on the right is not in the toolkit or the Girl's Guide to Girl Scouting, but you're allowed to be creative and do whatever you want in order to meet the requirements of the badge. So you've heard me mention the Volunteer Toolkit a number of times. If you're not sure how to find it, just go to our website, go to the MyGS page, and you'll see the Volunteer Toolkit. It will ask for your login. The toolkit has everything that you need to run your troop meeting. You're certainly welcome to the buy the Girl Guides Girl Scouting if you'd like, but you really don't have to because everything is in the volunteer toolkit. If you need a refresher on how to use it, please call, email, text your volunteer support coordinator and she can walk you through it. And as I mentioned before, the Girl's Guide to Girl Scouting is the book that has all the petals, badges, and leaves in it. And it's got some extra stuff like cool stickers and templates for fun activities. You're welcome to buy this book, but it is not a requirement. You can use the volunteer toolkit to find all the curriculum. And as far as community partners, you can engage them in earning pedals and badges. Just visit our website and go to the events calendar. You'll see all the cool activities that are going on all year. Thank you so much for taking the time to increase your knowledge as a troop leader. We hope you were able to understand how to earn petals, leaves, and badges. You need three activities to earn just about any one of the things that girls do at the DAISY level, but you never have to do it exactly how it's written. Be creative and get ideas from the girls on what you want to do. If you have any questions or you want to suggest a short and snappy that you don't see here, please email us at troopexperience at gshpa.org. Thank you again and have a great year with your DAISYs.